Morton Smith was an American professor of ancient history at Columbia University. He is best known for his reported discovery of the Marsaba letter, a letter attributed to Clement of Alexandria containing excerpts from a secret gospel of Mark during a visit to the monastery at Marsaba in 1958. This letter fragment has had many names, from the secret gospel through the Marsaba fragment and the Theodorus. Biography Smith was born in Philadelphia on May 29, 1915. He received his bachelor's degrees from Harvard College and the Harvard Divinity School, a Ph.D., from Hebrew University in Jerusalem and a Th.D. in theology from Harvard Divinity School. He taught at Brown University and Drew University and then he became a teacher at Columbia University in 1957. He became Professor Emeritus in 1985 and continued as a lecturer in religion until 1990. He died of heart failure on July 11, 1991 in New York City. Smith was well known for his sharp wit when it came to religious debates. He made regular scholarly contributions in many fields, including but not limited to Greek and Latin classics, New Testament, patristics, Second Temple Judaism, and rabbinics. Despite the numerous accusations of forgery against Smith's finding, Smith was seen as a dedicated scholar when it came to research. He was said to have devoted 15 years of his life to just studying his finding of the secret gospel. Marsaba Letter Discovery of the letter Marsaba is a Greek Orthodox monastery overlooking the Kidron Valley in the West Bank east of Bethlehem. In 1973 Smith published a book in which he wrote that he had discovered a previously unknown letter of Clement of Alexandria while cataloging documents there in the summer 1958. The letter, according to Smith, had been copied onto the end papers of Isaac Vossius, a 1646 printed edition of the works of Ignatius of Antioch. Modern discussion of the letter concludes that the paper bound in was also 17th century. Smith subsequently published a second book for a popular audience in 1974. The bulk of the letter is spent acknowledging the fact that there is indeed a secret or mystic depending on translation, Gospel of Mark, but Clement's version of this gospel is not the version used by the Carpocratians. According to the letter, the Carpocratians had altered the gospel significantly. In particular, the letter quotes, secret Mark, to the effect that Jesus had a practice of initiating his male followers into the mystery of the kingdom of God by verbal instruction. But Clement insists, Secret Mark does not include the phrase naked male with naked male accusations of forgery. The Marsaba letter was initially received as a notable discovery as it was not only a previously unknown letter written by Clement of Alexandria, but a secret letter to his disciple Theodore. But right from the start, some scholars voiced the opinion that the letter is not authentic, and that it was either an ancient or medieval forgery. In 1975, Quentin Quinnell published a lengthy article in the Catholic Biblical Quarterly, where he even suggested that Smith had forged the document himself, and then photographed his alleged forgery. An incense Smith issued a furious rebuttal, whereupon Quinnell disclaimed any personal accusations against Smith. In 1985 in his Strange Tales per Biscoff of Lund cast doubt on the gospel, Smith responded by threatening to sue the publisher, Fortress Press of Philadelphia, for a million dollars, and the publisher amended the offending paragraph. Scholars such as Philip Jenkins and Robert M. Price pointed out parallels between The Secret Gospel of Mark and a novel by James H. Hunter published in 1940 entitled The Mystery of Mar Saba. Craig A. Evans concludes that the upshot of the whole matter is that Smith's Mar Saba Clementine is almost certainly a hoax and Smith is almost certainly the hoaxer. No research into the Gospels and the historical Jesus should take Smith's document seriously. Evans also notes that unusually the copy of us. Edition of Ignatius had the note, Smith 65, inked into the copy. 
and there was no record of it having been in the library's catalogue before. History of the Manuscript In 1941, Smith, at age 26, was on a trip to the Holy Land with the Harvard Divinity School. Due to issues relating to the war, he was stuck in Jerusalem, where he made acquaintances with the leader of the Greek Orthodox Church who gave him a tour of various places, one of which happened to be the Marsaba Monastery. While there, Smith was given access to the libraries of the monastery. Years later, in 1958, having landed a teaching career at Columbia, Smith was awarded a sabbatical. With his sabbatical, Smith decided to return to Marsaba, having since became very interested in the Marsaba Library. He recalled that during his first visit, the library had been a terrible mess, and according to Smith no one had bothered to catalogue it. In fact Smith's evidence on this point is incorrect. Since while the catalogue may not have been updated in 1941 the library had a catalogue from 1923, in which the copy of Ost's 1646 edition of Ignatius is not listed, indicating that the book could only have entered the library after 1923. Further the Voss edition of Ignatius is missing from the most likely point of entry. The list of 263 books bequeathed to the monastery by Patriarch Nicodemus in 1887 which includes the 1715 Oxford edition of Clement but makes no mention of a 1646 Amsterdam edition of Ignatius. So, according to Smith, during his sabbatical Smith undertook the task of cataloguing the Mars Arbor Library. It was during his time spent cataloguing the library that Smith discovered, written on pages at the end of a book attributed to the 17th century Amsterdam printer Isaac Voss. Ironically this book contained letters from the proto-Orthodox Bishop Ignatius of Antioch, letters which Voss had collected into this rare volume, with the purported idea that it was a collection of legitimate letters penned by Ignatius. Significant at the time because there had been many letters in circulation, forged in the name of Ignatius. This fact has been a player in the critical studying of Smith's discovery, as Smith's reputation for sharp-witted cynical humor lends well to the idea that he may have intentionally chosen this volume in which to forge his discovery. Smith reported he found the manuscript in the Marsaba Monastery in 1958, photographed it carefully, and then left the book where he found it. He first announced the discovery publicly in 1960-bit. Due to various delays, his main publications on this subject did not come out until 1973. When people asked him where the original manuscript was, he replied, On the third floor of the library, where I found it, four scholars found the manuscript there and saw it in 1976. They were professors David Flusser and Shlomo Pines, both of the Hebrew University, Jerusalem, our commandrite Melaton of the Patriarchate, and G.A.G. Strimser, at the time a Harvard graduate student. Then the chief monk got involved, and is reported to have transferred the book to the Patriarchal Library in Jerusalem. And the librarian at the Patriarchal Library removed the manuscripts from the end papers of the book where Smith had found it, took more photographs. Arguments for and against forgery there of, as of 2008, three relatively new books in print which deal with the allegations of forgery. Stephen C. Carlson's The Gospel Hoax, Baylor University Press, 2005, Peter Jeffrey's The Secret Gospel of Mark Unveiled, Yale University Press, 2006, and Scott G. Brown's Mark's Other Gospel, Wilfred Laurier, 2005. In 2010 the Biblical Archaeology Review hired a Greek forensic handwriting expert, Venetia Anastasopoula, and a Greek paleographer, Agamemnon Zelikas, to assess the document. The forensic expert Anastasopoula, an expert witness in many Greek court cases, 
compared the surviving photographs of the manuscript with known examples of Smith's own handwriting, including notes he wrote in Greek, and concluded that it was unlikely that Smith could have so successfully imitated the 17th or 18th century handwriting of the letter. The paleograph is Elikas, director of the Center for History and Paleography of the National Bank of Greece Cultural Foundation concluded that the handwriting of the Clement letter does not match that of any known scribe at Marsaba Monastery in the 17th or 18th centuries, and in fact indicates 20th century forgery or imitation of 18th century Greek script. Zelikas concludes that Smith either forged the letter or had someone else do it for him before placing the 17th century edition of Ignatius into the Marsaba Library. The controversy is ongoing and far from settled. The letter appeared provisionally with qualification in a German edition of Clement's works in 1980. Contribution to Old Testament Studies Smith's contribution to Old Testament studies was contained in his Palestinian parties and politics that shaped the Old Testament, using form criticism to reconstruct the social background to the Old Testament. Smith advanced the proposal that two parties had vied for supremacy in ancient Israel, the first composed of those which worshipped many gods of which Yahweh was chief, while the other, the Yahweh alone faction, was largely the party of the priests of Jerusalem, who wished to establish a monopoly for Yahweh. In monarchic Judah the Yahweh alone party were a permanent minority, although sometimes able to win over a king like Josiah to their cause. Meanwhile, the population at large, including most of the kings, remained stubbornly polytheistic, worshipping the same gods as their neighbors in Moab, Ammon etc. In the post-exilic period the idea of Yahweh as the only God of Israel finally triumphed, but a new division emerged between the separatists who wished the Jews to remain strictly apart from their neighbors, and the assimilationists who wished for normal relations with them. Ultimately, by the late Persian, early Hellenistic period, the Purus I, the modern version of the Hebrew Bible was written, and a recognizably modern Judaism emerged. Publications, books, Tanitic parallels to the Gospels, the ancient Greeks, heroes and gods, Spiritual Biographies in Antiquity, in collaboration with Moses Hardas, Palestinian Parties and Politics that Shaped the Old Testament, Clement of Alexandria and a Secret Gospel of Mark, The Secret Gospel, The Ancient History of Western Civilization, with Elias Bikimin, Jesus the Magician, Charlotte in or Son of God, Hope and History, Studies in the Cult of Yahweh, Volume 1, Historical Method, Ancient Israel, Ancient Judaism, Volume 2, New Testament, Early Christianity, and Magic, edited by Shea J. D. Cohen, What the Bible Really Says, Awards, Lionel Thrilling Book Award for Jesus the Magician, Ralph Marcus Centennial Award of the Society of Biblical Literature, Bibliography, Stephen C. Carlson, The Gospel Hoax, Baylor University Press, 2005, Scott G. Brown, Mark's Other Gospel, Wilfred Laurier, 2005, Scott G. Brown, Factualizing the Folklore, Stephen Carlson's Case Against Morton Smith, Harvard Theological Review, July 1, 2006, available online. Peter Jeffrey, The Secret Gospel of Mark Unveiled, Yale University Press, 2006. Charles W. Hedrick and Nicolaus Olympiou, Secret Mark, in the 4th R13-5, 3-11, 14-16, contains color plates of the manuscript. Available online. Gedalia Hu A. G. Strumser comments on Charles Hedrick's article, A Testimony, Journal of Early Christian Studies 11-2, 147-53, tells about the four scholars who saw the manuscript in the Marsaba Library.